Once upon a time, there was an old man. He has four wives. He loves these four wives very much. One day, the man became very ill, very sick. He knew that he was going to die very soon, and he didn't want to die alone. So he calls in his first wife and asks her, "Honey, I am going to die soon. Will you die with me?" The first wife responded, "My dear husband, I love you very much. You have taken very good care of me, day and night." But this is where we must say our goodbye. The husband was very disappointed, so he calls in the second wife, wife number two, and asks her the same question. Honey, I am going to die soon. Sometimes I was worried that you might leave me. Well, now I am about to die. Will you go with me to the afterlife? Wife number two responded, My dear husband. I know that you love me very much, but you are only with me for your own selfish need. You are only with me because you are not satisfied with the first wife. That is why I am here. That is why I am wife number two. So I too must say my goodbye to you. The husband, disappointed once again, calls in his third wife and asks her. The same question. The wife number three replied, "My dear husband, I will go with you to your funeral. I will be there to bury you, but I will not die with you. This is where we must say our goodbye." Now the husband only has one wife left, and wife number four is the wife that he loves the least. It is the wife that he treats very poorly. But because he is afraid of dying alone, he invites her in anyway and asks her the same question: "Will you die with me?" Wife number four replied, "My dear husband, I will go with you wherever you go. I will even die with you." The moral of the story is that all of us, we have four husbands or four wives. We all do. Wife number one is the wife that we love the most. The wife that we take care of, look after day and night. What do you think she represents? Wife number one represents our body, our physical well-being. We love our body the most. We go to school, we go to work, so that we can supply our body with、uh, nutrition and other things. But when we are about to die, we cannot take our body with us. That is why wife number one has to say her goodbye. Now, wife number two, she said that you are only with me for your own selfish need. What do you think she represents? She represents all the material things, the money, the fame, the fortune, the success, everything that we have worked hard for. The reason why we go to work, the reason why we go to school, it is all the wealth, all the money, all the fame and fortune. One day, we will have to say goodbye to these things as well. And no matter how much we have, they are never enough. So we too must say goodbye to these things. Wife number three, she said that she will go with you to your funeral. She will be there to bury you. She represents your friends, your family, who will be there to help you, who will be there for the good times and the bad times. When you are feeling down, they will be there to make you feel happy. When you are happy, they will be there to celebrate your success. But when you are about to die, they will also say goodbye to you, and you cannot take them with you. Now, wife number four is the wife that you love the least, the wife that you treat very poorly. She represents your mind, your good energy, your karma. Your merits and demerits. Wife number four will go with you wherever you go, even after death. So it's important for us to take care of wife number four, make lots of merits, do lots of good deeds, so that you can have a good wife with you wherever you go in this lifetime and in every other lifetime. Jalan Han.